So anyway, I'm in my Centurion uh, 1. And I don't really like this tank. It's underwhelming, to say the least. I mean, I guess that's the politest thing I could say about it. No. Reloads too long. Damage output isn't enough. Its armor doesn't seem to do anything. And I'm just playing on this map to grind my way through this tank to get, I'm hoping, a tier 9 or 10 tank that's better. I'm, realistically, it's just a tier 10 because I'm working down all the tank lines. And anyway, I'm I'm thinking, hmm, I don't know what to do. I'm just driving towards where all the heavies usually go. You know, just kind of like, hmm. Kind of just grinding it, hoping to do damage on the probably on the ridge line. That's what I was thinking at the time. Can't really remember. Kind of watching this for the first time with you guys. This is about the one thing this tank could do is maybe, uh, you know, Ridge Sniper. I, I wouldn't even say it's good at that. Just, you can do it. I just shot at SpongeBob SquarePants. Of course, it was ineffective. I'm hoping to track him, but I don't. I'm hoping to track this heavy, but just do damage could have tracked him. Everybody could have took a shot on him. That would have been sweet. If you're not interested in the British uh, top tier 10 line, I wouldn't go for this tank. It's not worth it. I'm not a big fan of British tanks though, so I'm not going to lie to you guys. That I hate the Cromwell. And that's only because I, I don't think British tanks you know, are really any good. Especially when you've got a game made by Russians that the T-34 exists in. You know. And I'm looking for a shot here. Okay, I got one. That was nice. Hoping to get another one. I don't think I do. Now I'm thinking track him. So I get assist damage. I want some yummy assist damage because I shot over him because, you know, British accuracy. And I'm going to park right behind this heavy and just kind of, you know, bum rush him. You know, just keep hitting the rear, doing my 240 damage. That's how you got to play this tank. It's just 240 sh uh, per damage per shot. Sometimes lower. Okay. I don't think I'm going to get the kill, but I'm hoping. Nope. So, uh, I'm thinking, yeah, I guess we'll attack here. Nice T-34. Get some more yummy damage. Aiming for the turret. Machine gun turret, because, you know, I want to guarantee my shell goes through. I'm actually wanting to shoot the RHM here, but somebody else gets him, because I, I don't want to take on an E-75. At this point, I'm thinking, oh, I'm right here. Maybe I can hit his lower plate. I know I can outshoot him if he's got the big gun on him. And this is good teamwork from the team because look at how they're coming in from top and bottom. And I'm just trying to do my damage on this uh, uh, tortoise in front of me, another English tank. Probably the best in that line. They really buffed it. Mm, the Badger was is a good tank. I just it's too slow. Thirty is, is better than the twenty that that tortoise can go, but it's still too slow. And I kind of took this E uh, one hundred shell on the side. I, I I apologize later for it. I didn't mean to keep him from hitting him. I just was so focused in just killing the tortoise. I wasn't paying attention. 
And I want to kill this Lorraine, but I don't think I get to. And nope. And my team moves on towards victory. Yeah. It's another one of those close games, 13 to 5. And I don't quite understand how that happens, but it just does. Just sitting here admiring my tank burn. Must have been watching the mini map because I didn't click on someone else to see how it goes. But oh, yeah, here we go. E100 gets a nice hit. Yeah, this is when I apologize to E100. Painkillers looking for his top gun. Unfortunately, he didn't get it. And I want to thank uh, everybody for watching. King Fatboy out.